By now we all know that good results from ChatGPT requires good prompting. But let's be honest, nobody has the time to actually learn the skill of prompt engineering. Well, I think that I may have just found the one prompt that you need. And for most use cases, this is gonna make prompt engineering obsolete. My name is Marcel. I'm a software engineer with over five years experience developing and using AI tools. Now, let's get straight into the prompt. Just a heads up, we will be moving fast, but as always, there'll be a link to the prompt in the description. Okay, so let's build our prompt out piece by piece. And if you stick around, you're gonna see why this will be the last prompt that you'll ever need to write by hand. For this example, I'm gonna be using ChatGPT4 just because it gives slightly better results, but this prompt does work with GPT3. So we'll copy in the first section of our prompt here. The prompt itself is quite long, but I'll break down each piece by itself. So like many good chat GPT prompts, we start by telling GPT what it is and what it's good at. I want you to become my expert prompt creator. Your goal is to help me craft the best possible prompts for my needs. The prompt you provide should be written from the perspective of me making the request to ChatGPT. Consider in your prompt creation that this prompt will be entered into an interface for ChatGPT 3, GPT 4, or ChatGPT. The prompt will include instructions to write the output using my communication style. The process is as follows. There are a couple of things that I like about this prompt immediately. We've given ChatGPT enough context to know what it's good at and how it should craft our prompt for us. We've also given it an idea of the perspective that it should use and we've let it know how we're going to use the output of its messages. We've also let it know that we're gonna give instructions as to how to match our communication style. So that's it for part one of our prompt. Now let's get into the sections of the prompt. So our prompt features three different sections. We'll paste those in now. Let's break this down one section at a time. So you will generate the following sections. The first section is our prompt section. Provide the best possible prompt according to my request. Summarize my previous messages to you and provide them as examples of my communication style. This is essentially the part of the prompt that is going to generate the prompt output for us. The next section is critique. We are now asking ChatGPT to critique its own work. In doing so, ChatGPT is able to evaluate the prompt that it's created and come up with different ways of how that prompt could be improved. Provide a concise paragraph on how to improve the prompt. Be very critical in your response. This section is intended to force constructive criticism even when the prompt is acceptable. Any assumptions and or issues should be included. This section really forces ChatGPT to go from creating an average prompt to being critical of its own work and creating a really good prompt engineering quality prompt. The final section is the question section, and this is ChatGPT asking us questions so that it can understand more context of what we're trying to achieve with our prompt. This section reads as follows. Ask any questions pertaining to what additional information is needed from me to improve the prompt. A maximum of three. If the prompt needs more clarification details or details in certain areas, ask questions to get more information to include in the prompt. This allows ChatGPT to look at the prompt that it's written, critically evaluate its own work, and then ask us as the user some follow-up questions so that ChatGPT can have even more context and information to create an even better prompt. And this is essentially mimicking exactly what a prompt engineer would do. Okay, let's keep writing our prompt. And I know this is a very long prompt. A link in the description will be included so you can just copy all of this. You don't have to type it. Pasting in our next section, we'll see that the prompt continues with, I will provide my answers to your response, which will then incorporate into your next response using the same format as before. We will continue this iterative process with me providing additional information to you and updating the prompt until the prompt is perfect. This part of the prompt is key because this lets ChatGPT know that we're not going to just do this process once, but we're gonna iteratively continue to do this until our prompt is at an acceptable level. You'll see why that's important in just one moment. Finally, let's copy the very last bit of our prompt. And this last section reads, remember the prompt we are creating should be written from the perspective of me, the user, making a request to you, ChatGPT, a GPT-3, a GPT-4 interface. An example prompt you could create would start with, you will act as an expert physicist to help me understand the nature of the universe. Think carefully and use your imagination to create an amazing prompt for me. Your first response should only be a greeting and to ask what the prompt should be about. This final section here is really just to cement the outputs that we want from ChatGPT and to make sure that it understands the perspective that we should be writing from. 
Okay, I get it. That is a really long prompt. But like I said before, we only ever have to write this once. We can just copy and paste this for every task that we do. Now let's run our prompt and see what happens. Okay, so we see that ChatGPT has said, okay, it's ready to help us write our prompt. And to begin, could you please tell me the topic or purpose that the prompt should be? So that means that ChatGPT has read and understand our prompt. It's also seen that last sentence where it says, okay, just ask us what our prompt should be about. This is great. Okay, so now we can give Chat GPT some context about what we want our prompt to be. So I'm gonna say uh, writing a YouTube script. Now, this context can be whatever you like. It can fit your use case. Uh, this prompt works with, with any different use case. So we'll run that, and now the magic starts to happen. We see that ChatGPT starts to generate an initial prompt for us. Now we can see our prompt at work. We see that ChatGPT has written an initial version of our prompt is good, it has some good points, but ChatGPT is now able to perform the job of a prompt engineer. It is able to critique and evaluate its own work. The current prompt could benefit from a more detailed explanation of the style and tone of the desired YouTube script, and it goes on. This allows ChatGPT to follow up with you, the user, and actually ask you some questions so that it can develop more context and create an even more specific prompt for your use case. Okay, so ChatGPT is asking us if we have any examples of our communication style. If you have previous scripts that you've written or some of your writing that you want ChatGPT to copy, this would be a good place to use that. Or we can specify any unique phrases or words that we tend to use. So I'm gonna say, uh, hey guys, it's Marcel here, the AI guy, for lack of a better answer to that question. The next question, are there any specific aspects of AI in your workplace that you want to highlight in this video? Um, let's say uh, career progression and production. And third question is, how long is the desired video? How many words approximately should the script contain? Uh, we'll say under one minute, maybe 180 words. Now we can see what ChatGPT does with that information. Okay, so we see that ChatGPT has now re-evaluated its prompt and written something new. We can see that it has included that it should be a short under one minute video now, which is what we specified, and that it should also focus specifically on how AI can bolster career progression and enhance productivity. And finally, it has even suggested, hey guys, it's Marcel here, the AI guy. So it's taken our phrase that we want to use. Now what's great is that this process isn't finished. Because we asked ChatGPT to iteratively evaluate our prompt, it has given us another follow-up critique on our new prompt and another set of questions to help us further refine any details that we want to add to our prompt. So it's now up to you. Maybe the prompt that ChatGPT has given us is good enough. Or maybe we want to continue to refine this prompt and add even more details. And the more times you repeat this process, the more context you're gonna give ChatGPT and it's gonna be able to generate a very specific prompt for you. And that's how you can achieve the same quality as a prompt made by a prompt engineer. This is the last prompt that you will ever need to write by hand. And I think you should be using this right now. I've left a link in the description so you can just copy and paste this and throw this straight into ChatGPT. If you're sick of all of the overhype in the AI space and you just want useful prompts and tools that you can use in your day-to-day -day life that actually make you more productive, then hit subscribe.